Good evening. We start with some marathon news tonight. Organizers expect record numbers for this Sunday's Cayman Islands Marathon. More than 700 persons will be on the roads Sunday morning. This is an improvement of over 100 runners from last year's race. The latest numbers from race organizer Rhonda Kelly show 72 persons signed up for the full 26.2 miles for the marathon. 401 runners will cover the 13.1 half marathon trip. Some 65 teams have signed up for the team relay, including West Star's own Death Stars with Kafara Augustin at the helm. That's another 260 runners each doing 6.5 miles or 10K in the team relay. And also more than 200 children will race in the kids' fun run starting at the Glass House. Back again this year will be wheelchair participants from Stay Focused, Ryan Chalmers and Brian Simon. Some of our top runners like Marius Acker and Scott Britton will also take the start line with others like Derek Haynes, Tristan Miller and some of our basketballers, all of them running for causes. Proceeds from the run go to the Cadet Corps and the Cancer Society. So here's some important information for you concerning this year's marathon. The event pushes off from breezes by the bay on the waterfront in Georgetown. And the runners make their way up South Sound to Prospect Point and return the South Sound trek before heading up Walker's Road through Georgetown and back to the start. Race time is early, Sunday morning at 5. The marathon is just one of the events on this weekend. Tomorrow morning, the Triple C School puts on their annual 5K run, walk run from Public Beach. Registration starts at 7 before the race pushes off at 7.30. Women's football continues tomorrow evening with matches at the Annex and Ed Bush Stadiums. And tomorrow night, boxing fans can witness some of our top amateurs in action at Margaritaville downtown. Also on the card will be some of our business professionals for another night of white-collar boxing. Then Sunday, the runners hit the streets from 5 for the marathon. Sunday afternoon, the 2020 Challenge Cricket Tournament continues at the Smith Road Oval. And the CIFA Premier League continues with matches at the Annex and Edbush as well. So a packed weekend on the sports calendar as well. So it's been another awesome week for sports at home and abroad. And our top five players come from the fire truck pole, triathlon, cycling, basketball and football. So let's take a look. In this week's top five, coming in at five, the men and women from the immigration department show their power to win the annual fire truck pole. Their fastest trip over the 20 feet was in an impressive 9.95 seconds. It was all to raise funds for our Special Olympics program. In the number four spot, Marius Acker uses a blistering 10K run to claim yet another triathlon title last Sunday, chasing down Johan Heath. Marius goes after yet another half marathon crown when the Cayman Islands Marathon runs off this Sunday. In at three, our local riders match their skills with some of the world's best from the Garmin Transitions team in the first ever Ride with the Pros event in East End. And in the number two spot, Dwayne Wade flies high and throws it down in the Miami Heat victory over the Cleveland Cavaliers last night. So Jamario Moon. And that's why Charles Barkley in pregame is saying these guys have to run. And in the top spot, we like this long-range strike from the boot of Cesar Fajardo as Champs Scholars International pick up a 2-0 victory over Tigers last Sunday in the SIFA Premier League. That's it for this week's Top 5.